Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. What about you? Alhamdulillah. Hmm. What does that mean? Hmm? What does that mean? Alhamdulillah. I speak Arabic. What does that mean? Alhamdulillah. What does that mean? You speak Arabic. Uh, eh, little. So why you ask me? Well, I'm asking you what Alhamdulillah mean. What's wrong with that? I mean, is it, no. is, is it bad to ask you what Alhamdulillah mean? It mean praise all to Allah. Okay, so who is the one who said first time Alhamdulillah? What do you mean first time? Who is the first one who did say that? Me. Who? Me. What do you mean me? Who are you? I say first to you. No, no, no. Who is the first time? Who is the first time person who spoke and say Alhamdulillah? Is that your God, Allah? Well, I don't think so. Well, is it the Quran says in chapter one, verse number two, Alhamdulillah? Oh, does it? I don't know. You are a Muslim, not me. Yeah, but I'm not Hafiz. Okay, but uh, so how Allah, he is Allah, and he say Alhamdulillah. Explain to me how Allah is Allah, but yet he say Alhamdulillah. Well, it means he is praising himself. So okay, but if he is Allah, how he say praise be to Allah? He's speaking third person. So is he more than one person or he is this like one person? No, he's one person but speaking third person. Okay, he's one person, but he always talk about himself as third person. Don't you think find this is a kind of strange? Why he is saying Alhamdulillah if he's Allah? Sometimes God work in mysterious way. Well, your God is always mysterious. This to the point you can't explain to me anything about Himself. Anything I will say to you from now on, you will say it's mysterious, right? Well, you say same fortunity, so you no, know. No, we don't say no. We explain it. It's very easy. The Trinity is very easy. Even the Quran explain it. The Trinity, no, every, everything around serious. you, everything around you is explained by the Trinity. Even even there is something is called the golden ratio. The golden ratio, it's a simple mathematic calculation. Prove to you that every beauty exists in this earth is based on golden ratio, which is two to three. Which means two to one. The number is three. The golden ratio. Even water, it's H, even water, the, the, the source of life for us is H2O, which means three. Even you is a body. Is, 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 you, you, even you is a body and a soul. And you used to be dust in the same time. So he made dust, he made you a body, he made you a human being, living a human being, and he gave you life. Everything around us is based as number three. You, when you pray, so you, you, say, you, say, you say the name of Allah three times. Why, 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 you say, why you say the name of Allah three times? What is when it? When did I say that? When you, huh? What do you mean? Uh -huh. Don't you say what is the what is the what is the verse you recite every day when you pray? What is the first verse you, re you recite? First verse mm. is the first page of the mm -hmm. Quran. Right. What is that verse? Well, you know. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Right. Well, that's not a verse, though. This not verse. So what it is? Bismillah, you say all the time, every time. Yeah, I know, but this is a verse. It's verse number one in chapter number one. What's wrong with you? This is verse oh. number one, chapter number one. Bismillah rahman rahim So how many names you repeat you as a Muslim when you start reciting? Bismillah. What you say? In the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Are these all three and one in the same time, or they are three? Who is Allah? Who is Ar-Rahman? Who is Ar-Rahim? Yes. Who are they? There's only one. This is not the question. 
who are they Allah why you are reciting three names for one God why you don't recite one name what about reciting four names why three well you know I do not understand Arabic I just recite I'm not speaking to you in are. Arabic I'm reciting to you I'm speaking to you in English isn't it the language you are using to me now I'm not reading for you in Arabic. I'm saying to you, those names you know, you repeat them. You said you recite them already every day. Okay, that's wonderful. So why they are three? Why they are three, my friend? You mean Bismillah? Yes, Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. Three names. Why three names? Maybe for emphasis. What emphasis? Why three? The question is why three. Why not four? Why not five? More the emphasis. Why not six? Two. Why not seven? Why not eight? Why it is a three? Well, it's not specific. It's just, it's just a random number, you know. It doesn't have to have meaning. What? What? Uh, are you saying your God, Allah, he say things without meaning? I say meaning. It's emphasis for you. Saying it more than once, it is special. But this is not the but question. But the number three doesn't matter. If it can be no, number it matter. five. Are you saying to me? Are you saying to me that your God, he he say things for no reason. He just say stupid things. He don't no, mean there's reason. Okay, so what is the reason to mention three names? He, Allah, even Allah, He have how many, how many names your God have? How many names? I think. I have a little book. It says 99 names. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, uh, uh, 99 names is multiply of what? Multiply of number three. Okay. So, even the names, the total names, the total names of your God is multiply of number three. How many years Jesus he lived in earth? How many years, how many years Jesus lived in earth in this earth according to Islam? 33 years. The names of Allah, uh -huh. x, x the age of Jesus on earth is 33, x3, that is 99. So what's your point? Is My point, well, everything is in your religion, everything in your cult is based on number three, but yet you Muslims, you keep questioning the Trinity. When you pray, when you do ablution, is it true that you, you, you do things, everything three times? How many times you blow your nose? Three times. Three times. Okay. Oh, how how many times you have to wipe your face? You mean in the wudu? The ablution. Yes. Yeah, the ablution. Ablution. Yeah, we would do. How many times you'd need to do everything? Is it three times? Why? Why three times? Mostly three. Okay. Why? Because this is what is told by the sunnah that's wonderful follow. but why why three time what that's mean we don't you have, are not we know why. no we know why we know why because you are trying to say your 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 god is trying to say to you supposedly eternity is the way to be perfect pure to pray to allah remember you are doing what you are doing wudu you are performing wudu but if we go right time, now if we go right now to the website an islamic website to show us how they do wudu let me show the people here this is a Muslim website. As you see, here we go. How to perform wudu. All right. How we perform wudu. Read carefully with me. First thing you do, you make niya, which means you, you know, you prepare yourself and you start saying certain things. Okay. You say, in the name of Allah. In the name of Allah. Okay. How you do that? Let us see. Wash your hands your left hand to wash the right hand do this three times <laughs> you know why this is why three times coincidence what it's just a number man why no it's not a number are you saying to me that you muslims you follow silly numbers they don't mean nothing any to you somebody says to me in uh, in skype why you curse allah but uh, allah is what hold on let me see what this guy said why you curse Allah, but Allah is the name in the Arabic version in, uh, of Genesis. This is a false translation, my friend. In the book of Genesis, there is no Allah. That is a stupid translation. Did I but answer Allah you? Means yeah. means God in English. No, Allah is not, is not an, it's a word mean God. Allah is a name. 
No, it means God, you know. Okay, my friend, my friend, you're wasting my time. So do you know why you have to do things at three times? Because why? the sunnah taught us. Why? But why? Take water into your mouth. Use your and point your 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 hand cup water into your mouth three times. Why three times? Why? What is the secret behind three times? Three times will make you perfectly clean, supposedly. Is that correct? If you do it through time, it's not accepted. If you do it four times, not accepted. You have to do it three times. In the name of who? The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? Well, you think so? That's what you think. Well, I'm not okay. thinking. You tell me. You tell me why three times? If we, if we go now in this, in this page and we search for the word three times. Hmm? This is no one ever thinks of this every muslim when they yeah because do muslims this, don't use their, their, your brain uh, have you ever seen a muslim use his brain you don't use your brain you use your hands you use your your bum you don't use your brain no no here you, we go three times look how many times how many times you repeat three times your hands three times your left hand three times your our lower arm three times uh, uh, your mouth and your feet three times look at this i mean everything is three times three times all your religion is based on three times. Even your prophet, when he enter a place, he say "Assalamu alaikum" three times. Why? Okay, but that doesn't make Trinity. No, you need to ask, you need to answer me. You need to tell me if you don't believe in the Trinity, why everything is a Trinity? You reject the Trinity of the Christians, but you practice the Trinity. Everything in your life is about Trinity. You say the name of Allah three times. You wash your hands three times. You do the the, the the face three times. The hands, the feet. Everything okay. is three times. Okay. <laughs> now let me ask you. Is okay. Let me ask you. If but you if you divorce your wife, if you divorce your wife, the... what is the final oh. divorce? What is the final divorce in Islam? Is it true that if you divorce your wife three times, she can't get back to you? Is that correct? You mean talak? Yes. Yeah. Why? Why three times? I don't know. It's just and here we go. You do not know. Okay, forget about three time. Is it true that even you want to fast, you fast three time, like Zechariah and Mary, etc. They fast three time in Islam. Why three time? Three days. Why three days? What about four? What about one week? It's just an order. Is that what is the point of order? a three time? There's, it's not an yeah, but you need to know why the order three time. Why three time? Why three days? Okay, so. Do you have example of this in the Old Testament? Three number. My friend, my friend, you see, you are you are the one who's talking about that. Why we believe in three when you believe in the tree? Don't tell me. Do you have an example in the Old Testament? You what don't what do. what the what the Old Testament have with our topic now? Why you why you switch? We Christians believe in the Old Testament and the New Testament. And in the Old Testament, right away, in the book of Genesis, verse number one, verse number two, it says that God, he created the whole world and his spirit was above. His spirit. So we have father, we have the spirit. And then we, we know that in the Old Testament that God came to Abraham in the, in the form of a man. This is the Old Testament, not the New Testament. So in the Old Testament and the New Testament, prove to us that God is exist and he is he can be and he is more than one person which mean he present himself as a spirit he present himself as a man if he want because this is how he is this is his he is capable he is god he's almighty the second you say god cannot be it's mean he cannot be god what can make god god because he can do everything can i fly now uh, without airplane i cannot man is my, fr my friend, let me, let me ask you, let me ask you, let, let me ask you, if, if somebody became a man, can he still God and, he, and a man at the same time? What is your opinion? No, you can't be. You cannot. Okay, I want to, then I want to ask you a question. Remember, guys, we asked Mr., uh, what, what's your name? Khan, whatever your name. What's your name? Khan Saba. Khan, Mr. Khan. Yes, Mr. Khan. All right. As long as you say it, that God cannot be a man and be God in the same time, correct? Well, that makes sense. Okay, you, you agree with that. Okay, no problem. Now, Allah, he sent, according to you Muslims, he sent his spirit, which is the angel Jibreel, and he became a man. Is that correct? Mm, 
chapter 19 oh, verse chapter 19 yes. verse number 17 do you agree with that Quran yeah okay if God cannot be man and cannot be God in the same time that means the angel cannot be angel and a man in the same time yeah but angel is different that's divine being what divine being uh, your, your prophet call him the Holy Spirit which means he's holy how the angel can be a man now we have Jibreel became a man is he an angel in the same time or he is an angel before and now he became a man and he cannot go back and became an angel is he an angel when he was a man or not uh, I have to look into that do you promise me you will look into that well I have an offer for you. What about you call? What about you call your sheikh? What about you call your sheikh and ask him to call me live, and I will speak to him with respect. Just tell me, call me. He says I have my sheikh. He is with me. He want to talk to you, Christian Prince. Let's see how you, how your sheikh will do. Uh, he doesn't have Skype. You have a Skype. You call me from your Skype. He will sit next to you. Okay. Well, I could arrange that, but That's to be wonderful. honest with you. He's not going to be too sure about that because from what I've seen from you, you're very, you know, disrespectful and ready. Why I am disrespectful for what I said to you? Did I call your names? Did I insult you? I did not say anything. The one who is rude, yeah, I answered him. The one is rude, I answered him with what he deserves. Did I call your names? Did I say anything? I called you Mr. Khan, correct? You want to yes, be you want to be you, rude with me you want to be rude with me you want to be rude with me I will shower you I will shower you with what is fit with you you are respectful I speak to you with respect your brother is the one who okay. called me and say the f word to me I did not say the f word to any Muslim I didn't hear that that's that's bad yeah I did not say the f word I never I never say the f word to any Muslim now here when I say to a Muslim you are kissing a black stone which is a vagina am I lying Oh yeah, you're lying. Why are you I'm lying? What is your proof? Obviously not. Huh? That's your problem. You think it's that. That means you have something wrong in you. Hey, my friend, can you prove? Can you prove to me that I'm wrong? Let me ask you: Is it true that your prophet he said the black stone used to be white and became a black? Brav, let me focus on the other issue. The no, 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 Jibri no. No, no. I'm gonna let us let, let us talk about this. Why the black stone was white and became a black, according to your understanding? Uh, well, from my knowledge, I think it didn't just become over time. It just, it just over time. Black. Okay, why? But why? Well, I don't know. It's natural. What do you mean natural? It's not special phenomenon. It just naturally became black. What? Are you, are you talking about that? I, I don't really know about that either, man. Okay, let us take another Muslim as long as you do not know. 